Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. Wow, have we got a treat for you today. Uh, before we get into June's sketchbooks, I just want to answer some questions that will most likely pop up like right away. So number one, does June have a Tumblr, a DeviantArt account, any of that stuff? And I asked her and she said no. She's got no Tumblr, none of that stuff. She's just a freshman student in college hanging out in her dorm room and drawing in her sketchbook. Um, some of the drawings in her sketchbook are out of her imagination and some of them she used photos uh, for her inspiration to start some of her memory drawings. So some of them are completely out of her imagination and some are not. She's drawing from photos, uh, she's drawing from life, and she's drawing out of her imagination. It's hard because there's like hundreds of drawings in the sketchbook to kind of go through and say, okay, this one's done out of her imagination, this one's done from a photo. But you, you'll get the idea. Uh, and what pencils are is she using? Well, she started her sketchbook using a uh, mechanical pencil with an HB graphite, and then she moved on to a Prismacolor Cola Erase pencil, and that's when her drawings really started to get a little bit more uh, flow to the line. Uh, what else can I answer for you? Well, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just enjoy her sketchbook. She's super young. It's the fall semester of her first year of college, and she's just practicing to get better. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more of her work, check out my blog and, and I'll post a couple pictures up there. All right, cool. Enjoy. Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We have the girl who will eventually take over the planet um, and her name is June. And she's going to take over the planet. And I, June has two sketchbooks. How are you, June? Great. What's your dream job? Um, and maybe a character designer for some RPG games like nice. Final Fantasy. Yeah. Okay, so do all the art, uh, all the the gamers out there who people who hire gamers? Did you hear that? All right. So basically, what we have here is June is already on sketchbook number two, and I have sketchbook number two due on the end of the semester, December twenty third. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through the progression of these two sketchbooks done in nine weeks. It's crazy. Now the beginning, you can start flipping. Um, the beginning of June's sketchbook, it's, it's pretty rough, right? Because it's, it's super young student, freshman in college, um, just getting used to SBA, and uh, with a lot of raw natural talent. Love that drawing, beautiful. A lot of raw natural talent. And what I usually say to my students is, in my class, you're gonna get worse before you get better. Because you see what's happening here? June is drawing in her own natural style, and then I'm gonna teach her all these different techniques, and then it's gonna screw her up a little bit. But by like week eight, things start to click. Uh, in this, in June's case, it, it clicked a little bit sooner than, than week eight. And how, how long does each page take you? Um, some takes me about half an hour, and some just a longer, two hours maybe. Um, these are some character designs. And these are all out of your imagination, right? Yep. And you're using a regular graphite pencil? You have mechanical pencil. A mechanical pencil. And that was the positive and negative space assignment for my class. You know, born positive and negative space, but it's the beginning of the semester, week two. We're drawing torso peanut shapes. We're doing angles and measuring. All that fun stuff. And I just, again, Lots of detail coming out. Uh, what, when did you start drawing? At like what age? Like what inspired you? Do you remember when you started? Maybe in kindergarten. <laughs> in kindergarten. And what do you like to look at? Like what inspires you? Um, many setting books, art setting, and uh, I play a lot of video games. And just because I love the character. You love the characters in the video games. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have my son watch this because he uses my YouTube account. Yeah, so this is a character from Final Fantasy. Final, so he's gonna see this and he's gonna flip out. He plays a lot of video games too. So you have your inspiration. Yep. So you're just cranking out a lot of drawings. And what I told June as, you know, she asked me, you know, what can I do to make my drawings look better? You know, because they all are starting to look the same. That page we're gonna have to edit out. Um, and I said, it's, it's really about uh, form. You, you just gotta get a little bit more form and a little bit more twist 
into your uh, drawings. And so you got, she just took that information and just ran with it. So still very early in the semester, maybe week three, back in September. Um, all still with the mechanical pencil, right? Yep. So the reason why we're flipping so fast is because we have a whole nother sketchbook with drawings that are really, really blowing these away. Um, but this is just, what is, okay, another surface planes homework assignment. What is really very phenomenal about June's work is that she's not afraid to just dive into a pose. She's not afraid to dive into a drawing like she really doesn't care. Um, if it's not going to come out right, like she just dives into it and makes it happen. And I, you know, there's something to be said for that because a lot of artists um, are fearful of just doing all these drawings because they're afraid that they might suck. But yet you just kind of have to crank through your own artwork and, and look at that. That's just really a phenomenal piece right there. Yeah, actually, this is a LGBT character. Nice. You just got to do your thing just like she's doing, just kind of make it happen. <laughs> Yes, curving legs. Some stiff drawing. I know you're turning your head right now, but we we got a lot of drawings to look at, so I'm not gonna have June um, move the sketchbook. So this is all from life here. Yep. Back to memory. So remember, okay. So now this is when. Uh, June, you said that's when things started to change for you? Yep. Okay, so this is the homework assignment that I gave with light and shade. And for those of you guys who are members of DrawingTutorialsOnline.com, you probably know the PDF with these statues, so keep going, keep going. So those aren't those drawings like phenomenal? Um, so that's when things started to change. I don't know, sometimes things just click, and uh, I don't know, from that point on, like the sketchbook just kind of took on like a whole other life of its own into the, the next sketchbook. So just some more drawing from photos, drawing from life, drawing from imagination. Now right about this time you're saying does she have a tumbler and she does not. No tumbler, no blog, none of that. She's just in her room drawing and I love that. You know she's got June, why don't why don't you have a blog yet? I'm curious. Too lazy to you know update it. Too lazy right now. Yep. Just focusing in on doing your schoolwork. There's plenty of time for that. Wow, you got a lot of work. <laughs> yep. This is one sketchbook, like. This is one sketchbook completed in about like five or six weeks. And there's a lot of drawings in here. And these are just not like quick things that you crank out in like five minutes. There's a lot of little nitty gritty detail in each one of these. I mean, look at the hair, look at the outfits, crazy stuff. Pretty good for sketchbook number one of college freshman year in drawing class. Not bad. Good, good, good. Modeling factors, this is like week six, no doubt about it. Yep. Matching values, modeling factors, shading. Back to uh, unique personal style, a little bit of figure drawing from photos. I'm just smiling as I'm looking at this because I've been an artist my whole life. I know how long this stuff takes and it takes forever. I just can't get over how much work you've done. From photos, good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the movement. Love it. Crazy. Both sides now. 
light and shade. Yep, I think I'm done with this sketchbook. Yeah, that was done in six weeks. Yep. All right, so let's see that next one. This next one is really gonna kill it. Um, it's pretty unbelievable. And it's pretty this unbelievable. Is my second sketchbook. I mean, this is out of your imagination. You're just kind of sitting down and going for it. Yep. Crazy. Just do me a favor, push that sketchbook a little bit forward okay. on this black. There you go, that's so much better. That was a drawing to copy a Bouguereau painting for homework, matching values. So you see what's happening here? How June can kind of go in the traditional way. And so I love that she's taking chances and she's doing different things. She's really well-rounded. That, that's not an easy drawing to do. These for Halloween. Halloween, okay. Oh, I messed it up. Nice. Let's do these are a little bit stiff. So this is starting to practice the torso peanut shape. Yep. Beautiful hair. So this is even back to back, both sides of the paper. I usually suggest to my students they don't do that. Um, wow, nice gesture. You got a lot of uh, cool character designs. So now a um, little bit more life drawing, a little bit more of the torso peanut shape. Excellent. This is insane. I really love this character. Wow. Just some sketch. Drawing on location, Empire State Building, right on Broadway. Yep. Looking down Fifth Avenue, good. Crazy. Now the multi-character thing just blows me away. Yeah, from this point, I think I start to change it. Yeah, the torso peanut thing, I think helped you with the tone, helped you as well. So June came up to me after class one day and she asked me, what do I need to improve? I said, you need to study anatomy and you need to study form. And I teach this thing, the 60 minute figure drawing, you can keep going. And uh, it teaches you how to draw the torso peanut shape and then you started studying a little bit of anatomy each week. June? Mm -hmm. you, you started studying a little bit of anatomy each yep. week? Yeah. So, you know, the, the one thing that I have to say is that you, you can doodle in your sketchbook, you can draw in your sketchbook, but you really, really, really want to draw with purpose. And the one thing that I mentioned to June is that she needs to do the anatomy, like I said, study form a little bit more, but also understand the patterns of the body and how they move. And there are certain patterns to the way a leg looks and it's not straight up and down. And she started getting some of those patterns and she's incorporating that into her artwork. Here's the rough skeleton that I teach and she kind of dove right into it. And I teach that on week one. This is like week seven or something like that. And she's still going back and she's doing it on her own time, which is really impressive. Well, good, good. Love the form on the legs. So understand that June understands and I understand that she still has a ways to go. Um, but yeah, where she is right now in, in first year of college is, is pretty crazy. And the amount of drawings that she's gonna be doing, um, she's gonna kick some serious, but I can't even imagine what she's gonna be like at the end of the spring semester. You're gonna be nuts. Sixty minute figure course, very good. Some torso peanut shape. Yeah, good, good, good. Um, just some experiment with lines. 
Wow. Lots of pencil mileage. Blue color ace pencil. Yep. And that's just a regular ballpoint pen. How to draw fabric. Beautiful, because I've mentioned to draw some form. And then uh, just trying to understand Mucha lines, or as one of my students said, Musha. Um, and trying to get that. Good. Wow, now you're getting movement and flow even more so. I really love Mocha's drawing. Yeah, me too. He's one of my favorites. So here's the study of anatomy, um, which is what I suggest to a lot of people because you get to a certain point with, with your drawings and it's like, okay, now where do I go? I go, well, that knee doesn't look like a knee. You got to make it look like a knee. You got to know what's going on underneath the skin. So very cool. And these are your comments. Yes, you will conquer the world. Absolutely. Wow. Beautiful. That one's one of my favorites. That's a crazy piece. Good. Beautiful. Yeah, there's there's definitely, if, you, if we, we're gonna take one of these drawings, we're gonna compare it to the first sketchbook at the end. Yeah. And this is the growth of my character. The growth of your character, very nice. That's tough to do. Yep. Uh, portrait <laughs> and techniques. These are not to do. What not to do. <laughs> and Accentuate really the nostrils. Fun. Nice job. Sorry. What not to do. Do not steal the teacher's phone <laughs> and take pictures. Yeah, those are some sculptures from the mat. Very nice. Yes, I'm trying to do with some perspective, but I think I'm pro at it. Okay, we're going to do that next week. 1.2 point, 2 point, 3 point. That's a beautiful little torso down over there with the fabric, gorgeous, with the anatomy, study all on one page. Let's do some character design. So all of this is coming out of your imagination. Yep, and storyboard for my final. And this is the final page. So look at that torso. Uh, it's just wonderful deltoids, great pecs, good abs, beautiful copy of a Mooka drawing. Now leave that page and go to your first page in that sketchbook. Oh my book. gosh, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, go to a page that, yeah. Maybe, let me find something. Go, go to page number one, there you go, that page right there. So look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. And look at that torso. I mean, that, that's really gorgeous. And, and look at the control of the line. Show us how thick these two sketchbooks are. Yeah, both of them are. They're big one. mama sketchbooks. Yeah. So they're, that's that's uh, two almost two inches right there. June, you're a crazy lady who's gonna take over the universe and conquer the gaming world. Thank you so much for sharing your sketchbook. You're welcome. It's about a thousand degrees in here, so we'll see you guys soon.